Okay, it's coming in right now. Is that setting up for our setting up? Yep. Nice. So I'm up there now. Uh, share. Got to share it to my page, right? Yep. And you yep. can share it to people too. Share it now, friends. Yeah, okay. You can share it to whatever you want to share it to. Yep. Okay, share it to your timeline. Sweet. All right, great. Nice. Make sure nice. you turn your make sure to turn the volume off on the okay, Facebook. Sure. Make sure make page, make right? make sure you shut everybody turn your turn your volume off on your Facebook. Uh if you have it open, turn the volume down. How do we turn volume down on Facebook? I've never done that. You before. go you go on the screen that you're watching it on that's open and you turn it down. Otherwise it's gonna echo back on us. Oh, the actual screen. Yep. Yep. Gotcha. I have I have it muted on there. Okay, but we're not muted. You and I are talking. <laughs> no, I have it muted on Facebook though. Got it. Got it. Perfect. Yep. Okay, cool. All right. Well, we're we're live. Uh let we're me live unmute. right now? Yep. You want me to go on? I'm done muting everybody and we're going live. Well, welcome everybody. Uh one hour comedy hour. I've been running a comedy show in Beaumont, California for nine years now. And we missed our first month last month in nine years. And now we're back this month virtually with some of my favorite comedians. Uh, but usually I go up and I just MC and just talk to the crowd. So since I, I'm going to try to do that right now, anyone on a first date? All right, never mind. Um, <laughs> I'm actually in Ohio right now, um, stay with my girlfriend at her place. Uh, I've been here for two months. She gave me a haircut today. Not bad for a dentist, huh? Yeah. All right. Yeah, she's a dentist. I'm dating a dentist. Uh, I didn't know she was a dentist when I met her. When I met her, I just talked to her at a bar. And I go, what do you do for a living? She goes, I'm a dentist. I go, do you find that fulfilling? That's right. Boing. <laughs> I still got her number. That's right. Um, by the way, when it comes to what they're eating in China, all I'm saying is all bats are off. Come on, guys. Oh, nice. Uh, <laughs> ah, that's so bad. <laughs> 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 Anybody seen the uh, the COVID twenty? What do we have a launch date for that yet? It hurts a lot smaller, sleek. All right, COVID twenty. Never mind. It's a wordplay joke. Um, you know, <laughs> the upside to this whole thing, you know, is this is the they say the air quality in Los Angeles is so because people are not driving. They say the air quality is so clean for the first time ever. You can actually see people's ulterior motives first time in history. <laughs> <laughs> uh, i'm not the thing about people the thing about in la is people are so flaky and trendy you have to take everything they say with a grain of himalayan pink salt that's all i'm saying uh, it's tough though this 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 uh this um this uh, thing is just tough because it's, you know, people trying to stay in shape, like because of this stupid virus, I haven't, been able to, I haven't been able to use my gym membership since 2004. It's ridiculous. It's, it's, <laughs> <laughs> they say, um, you know, I've been, well, that they say, I've been trying to read books. Like, what are we going to do? Right. We got all this time off. I'm not making this up. Uh, Facebook recently. Yes, I'm still on Facebook. I, that's what we're watching right now. They asked me what uh, they'd say, Hey, would you like to fill in more of your information, your personal information? And it says, what books have you, would you like to list what books you, re you have read lately? And they pre-filled in what books I might have read. Like some algorithm, I'm not making this up. These are the books that they listed for me that I might have read. Cat in the Hat, <laughs> Hunger Games, Bible. Those, some algorithm gave them those three in a row. Like, is that the actual Bible? Yeah, the Bible. The Bible. <laughs> cat in the Hat, no Hunger the Games, hand. Bible. That's the algorithm. First of all, like, who would ever read those three books in in order? Like, you read the Cat in the Hat, you're like, whoa, this thing's a page turner. All nine pages. I've turned them <laughs> off. Okay, you get done with that. You're like, okay, I have time to step up my game from six year old reading to twelve year old reading. So you read the Hunger Game, right? Or oh, Hunger Games. Well, after that, you're like, whoa, that was intense. I need to get myself right. Somebody hand me the Gideon. All right. 
I thought Gideon was going to be a big laugh, but apparently not. Um, okay. My memory must be going, guys. I can only name one Spice Girl. I tell you, it's scary. Come on. Uh, <laughs> you know, they say there's no place like home. Unless you live in a track home, and then there's lots of places like home. <laughs> <laughs> uh, is cow tipping a real thing? And if so, is it usually 15%? Let's be honest, guys. Uh, uh, we got some Midwesterners on here. <laughs> Midwesterners. Yeah, I see them in the background. <laughs> I, was, uh, I was actually having a staircase installed in my house, and then the, my contractor kept like overcharging me, so I had to cancel my flight. Come on, guys. We need one of those sound effects. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, but um, it's weird, though, man. I am. It's great to be here because I am in Ohio, where a lot of I grew up my, from Ohio originally. A lot of my Italian relatives here. I'm Italian, very proud Italian. Uh, we're good at a few things in life, Italians. We. We, first of all, I can't embarrass Italians. We don't care. We'll spin anything in our favor. Like think about it, Leaning Tower of Pisa. It's an architectural disaster. <clears throat> Any other country be like, we're gonna demolish that. We're gonna be a global embarrassment. Italians are like, let's charge admission. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what we're really good at? Italians are great at giving directions. My grandfather, if you don't even need directions, he's gonna give you directions. If you happen to look lost, it is, I'm sorry, he'll be okay. Come here. What do you want to do? Say, go north. Go. Go north. Take it north. Go. Go. Eventually, you're going to do a dead end. You want to make a right or left. Hard left. You can make a hard left. You're going to take that for a while. Eventually, you're going to start veering right. I'm like, Gramps, relax. I can find the bathroom. I've been to this Denny's before. Just... Right. <laughs> go north. I started off, <laughs> I started off so strong, and then look what happened to me. <laughs> All I'm asking is this, guys. That tower in Paris, boy, that sure is an eye full, huh, guys? <laughs> if you kill a chicken, is it considered foul play? Let's be honest. All right. Confucius say, casket put in wrong hole is grave mistake. Come on, guys. Uh, <laughs> is a is a COVID would a COVID documentary be considered a viral video? Come on, you gotta. Okay, I thought that was gonna go. Gonna <laughs> 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 get just get dry cough. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm dating a dentist now, though. It's it's weird though because she's like always a dentist. She never stops being a dentist. It's like annoying because like I'm young. She's so studying my teeth. I'm like yawning, and she's like, "Ooh," I'm like, "What?" She's like, "You got some staining on your lowers." You rinse? I go, I don't know. Do you swallow? Yeah. Oh. Hey. 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 Johnny C went blue for one joke. Uh, yeah. Blue hey, it. I'm just glad to have a girlfriend, man, because you know I was single for seven years and you, you don't know how to talk to girls, man. I'm from Cleveland, Ohio. I live in LA. You know, girls in LA, they try to make you feel dumb. I don't like that. If you're smarter than me, fine, but don't try to make me. I was talking to this girl one time. She goes, I like Tchaikovsky. What do you think? I'm like, look, I don't really follow tennis, okay? So let's. <laughs> All right. Anyhow, I went way longer than I usually do when I MC yeah. my show because I do, <laughs> do a lot of comedy. Uh, are you guys ready for a great comedy show? Comedy. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, comedy, comedy. This is a this is really cool. Uh, I'm gonna bring up. You know, I'm just get right to it. This girl right here. We just got back from a tour last year, entertaining our military overseas. We went to, I don't know how many different countries, three or four, Italy, Spain, maybe in a, one other one. And it was awesome, wasn't it? It was, it was amazing. I'm bringing up. She's also, she runs her own show. She has a residency in Vegas. She wrote all over LA, all over the world, for Christ's sake. Give it up for Natasha Pearl Hansen. Yay! Yay. 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 Johnny, I love Johnny. This is my, yeah, 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 my family yeah. here in Wisconsin. We got Connie, my uncle Steve, and my dad behind me. In Wisconsin, bars opened today or yesterday, I think it was. Um, I haven't left my parents' house in two months. Basically, I was in New York when everything hit, and it was like the lights being shut off in Target while you're still shopping. You're like, I'm not done. <laughs> you're like, you announced that we had 15 more minutes, and I just fucking left New York. Came to Wisconsin. 
haven't seen anybody except for my my uncle and Connie in the last two months and my parents. And uh, it's been interesting because, you know, when you're a comic, you have tours shut down. And you're like, oh, I'm losing so much money. That was my first worry. But since I've been here, I actually checked my bank account and I've spent four dollars <laughs> since I got to Wisconsin. <laughs> Like I am making so much money by just not living in Los Angeles right yeah. now. Yeah, well, I'll right? be there in an hour. Seriously, <laughs> I mean, I'm like everything. It's just a crew. I'm like making interest off of myself. Um, <laughs> my uh, my family has an Alexa, and I keep like my mom keeps all of her shopping lists on Alexa. So I keep fucking with my mom by adding things to Alexa every time I walk by her. Every time I walk by her, I'm like, Alexa, add a really hot young cabana boy to the shopping list. Add, <laughs> add some G strings to the shopping list for dad. Um, I want to hear that. <laughs> my mom gets to the store every time and she'll call me. She's like, what the fuck's on the shopping list? And I'm like, this is how I have to entertain myself now. The world is closed. <laughs> my mom also... My mom has been making, uh, she really likes cake. She's the only one in the family that eats cake and she's making cakes every couple of days and then getting mad at everybody else for not wanting to eat cake. <laughs> so the other day- What's wrong with your family? She walks in the room. <laughs> the other day she walks in the room and she's like, nobody's eating any cake. And I was like, well, what? You, you're the one that wants cake. She's like, well, there's only one piece of cake on. I'm like, did you eat that piece of cake? She's like, yeah, it's for me. I'm like, well, why are you keep making whole cakes? She's like, it's a cake. I can't make less than a cake. <laughs> that's, that's fair. These are the kind of things that I'm dealing with in my family. Um, January of this year, I broke up with my fiance. Um, but I broke up with my fiance. I mean, <laughs> shit. Shit really hit the fan. Uh, <laughs> it's been a great year, you guys. It's been such a good year. Yeah, um, but he's happy. Look, <laughs> by himself. Like, oh, good he's evening with her. Watching this now. He's watching us now. Baby <laughs> bird. Oh, you created a stalker. I can guarantee you that. <laughs> right? The ro I know. They're like, the roast is on. They're like roasting me from the corner. You started it. Now my family's going to move. My family's going to just take. I'm just going to eat so much shit for my family for the next couple of days. But uh, people are like, man, what happened with you and your relationship? And I'm like, man, I don't know. I mean, the last two and a half years have been really hard, mainly because I realized after we got engaged that I did not need a man in my life. Who vapes. <laughs> I don't need a guy who vapes in my life. Um, for the last two and a half years, my fiance has made me feel like I live inside of a suspense novel. Every single time I came home, every time I came home, there was just this ominous cloud of haze floating through the house, <clears throat> sound following me around. Yeah. <laughs> in my house. The worst. I know, right? Before we before we broke up, we were getting dirty in the bedroom, and I look behind me, and I just hear this noise. <laughs> Ask Chris Weibel vapes. <laughs> right. <laughs> I look at him. I'm like, "Are you seriously vaping me right now?" Like, I, I know we get complacent long-term relationships, but I never thought that I would be that person. He has vaped me every single day for two and a half years, <laughs> and I'm ashamed and I'm embarrassed, and I can't marry a vapist. <laughs> oh, God. We have been You're fighting for equality. We have been marching for equality in the street, you know, we just all these, we turn this entire blind eye to this vape culture and all these guys just lurking around every corner, waiting to blow their unwanted Cinnabon flavored vape juice clouds of deceit into our faces. So <laughs> I started a movement and I call it means no. <laughs> no. <laughs> I just want to figure out how to get that onto a t-shirt if anybody can help me out. <laughs> where am i at with time i don't want to you're my good oh you can you've got another joke go ahead and then we'll wrap up another joke all right if you want to, yeah. all right let's see i'll talk about grandma i i've talked about grandma a lot in my comedy before but i never thought that i would feel the way i do about her now that i've been in quarantine with her for two months um 
my grandma is an honorable woman and I love her, but I'm, I'm with her five days a week while my parents are at work. And she oh, loves wow. to complain. <laughs> <laughs> I know that one. <laughs> she, hates, she hates people who complain though. She hates people who complain so much that all she does is complain about them. She <laughs> spends all day complaining about people who complain to the point where she's run out of people who complain to complain about. So she started complaining about people who don't complain for not having shit to complain about. She is just. She's, she's got a joking. future in stand-up comedy, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> it is self-deprecating to the highest level. But anyway, that's that's my time. Me and my family have enjoyed this so far. Hey, 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 family. You know what I love about a Zoom comedy? <laughs> Natasha was like talking shit about her family, and then she's like, "By the way, my family." <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, her funny. family's grandma. Yeah. How you doing? That, that just slowly yeah. lifted over. Her family, is, her family is in the green room during the show. Yes. Her family is the green room. <laughs> her dad popped over. He's like, G-string? What? <laughs> yeah. Your marriage Dad's dissolved be, since when? Um, Dad's gonna be like, what did that son of a bitch do? <laughs> you never told me uh, that. <laughs> At least I hear about it from my family after the show's done, not during the actual. Yeah. Uh, That's a first for me. And that, Natasha, I did say this. I, I do want to ask everybody because what is something you've done in the last two months quarantine that you never thought you might do? Something that you did surprise yourself? Anything? Oh my God. Um, you know what? I never thought that I would become such a lover of bike riding on a bike that has a bell and a cup holder and a basket <laughs> like the type of fast high right. bike riding that and it's my grandma's bike and i <laughs> i've just commandeered i've just commandeered it i didn't know that i would love riding a bike so much but i haven't done it in like 20 years that's awesome uh -huh. I mean, weren't yeah. you yeah well you were singing some songs on instagram or something like that i when i happened to look you up you were you were getting down on the bike singing oh my god you got yeah, a great voice that thing. <laughs> bike rides awesome well natasha has, don't you have an uncle that was a jazz pianist my grandpa. Mm -hmm. grandpa my grandpa mm -hmm. Very you kind of player he's, he's in arkansas 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 no okay mm -hmm. jazz capital of the world yeah, the chest, literally. <laughs> no, <laughs> that's so funny you say that. All right, I get one spit take. Like, Is it, do I get paid for like that? The jazz capital of the world. He was a staple of jazz in Chicago, and when I was 18, he moved to Arkansas to get it to teach. And mm -hmm. then they never left. Now they have like a horse and shit. I'm like, how did this black man end up in Arkansas with a horse? <laughs> Hey, you know what they say, man. The you want to hear some smooth jazz, Little Rock. All right. Uh, <laughs> let's uh, keep the show moving. This next guy coming to the stage. Uh, <laughs> Dresden room, by the way. Uh, backdrop. I like it. Uh, Great job, Natasha. Uh, my buddy, he's also traveled all over the world with me on military tours. Great writer, screenwriter. Great friend. Very funny guy. Give it up for Chris Weibel, everybody. Chris Weibel. Thank you. Give it up for Johnny. Right. Sure. Like that. It's just like all my other sets. I go on stage and Tasha's like, I'm fucking out of here later. <laughs> <laughs> and then it said, boss comedy. Yeah, awesome. <laughs> I'm never doing this again. Yeah. I'm not going to be in Italy, I guess. I get it. You got eight seconds left, Chris. Keep going. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, you got the gist of it. Yes. <laughs> yes. This is so old. <laughs> Let's just make a little noise here. What are we doing here? What the hell's going on? All right. Uh, good to be here. Uh, uh, I'm just glad. Like, I haven't done a Zoom comedy before, so I'm glad uh, to be doing it. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> um, anyway, so I'm just trying to be positive during all this. Um, I have a... Uh, a pretty uh, uplifting message for some of you guys or an uplifting happy thought for a lot of you gentlemen in the crowd. Like, uh, like I'm pretty sure you could really lowball a hooker right now. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> really? 
Flash <laughs> prices. You know? Thanks for the tip. Yeah, I've got Nay right. Oh, there. that's a couple of wordplay jokes right there. Low ball and the tip. Come on, guys. <laughs> oh. Uh, but yeah, it's like if you think it's hard being in the bar business, like imagine dabbling in the flesh game. You know what I mean? Like, all right, wrote that one today. Feel pretty good about it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Try to do all. Should have written it tomorrow. <laughs> I like that Chris is like flesh game. That's a winner. Oh. <laughs> I said it out loud four times. It was like I'm going with it. It's staying for sure. Um, good. This is going about how I thought. This is awesome. <laughs> Told friends about it. Um, so I've been quarantining alone. Anybody else? Yeah. The crowd work. Yeah. It away. Like that'd be awesome. Q, you're doing. You're quarantining alone. Yep. Yeah, it's just me over here. Uh, I've seen because he's in jail. You didn't know that. What's that? No, go ahead. Oh no, who's in jail? You. No. no. <laughs> just, just, just keep going. Just keep going. Don't don't listen. No, I've seen like I've seen one familiar face in public in or in person in sixty six days, and like we both had masks on, so like I don't even know if it was really her or not. Like it could have been anybody. Like, could have cared. Like so, basically, I've seen. <laughs> Two eyeballs and a familiar haircut in like two and a half months so get a little get a little weird like getting a little going a little crazy um i'm doing pretty well though like i uh well all right so basically look i'm trying to be positive right this guy. i'm gonna share with you if you guys are feeling down i want to share with you the weirdest thing that has happened to me since quarantine started all right i'm gonna skip all these other killer fucking jokes i wrote today by the way okay go right to this story okay so I'm out, uh, I'm out one afternoon uh, doing some exercise, basically walking <laughs> or, you know, whatever. I do that every day. And I'm outside my apartment and I'm fucking around on my phone, right? And this dude comes walking up to me. And he's like a 50-year-old Middle Eastern guy. And he's like, stays like 10 feet away. And he's like, hey, uh, he's like, hey, my name's Greg. Uh, I'm going to have a quick cigarette. Uh, I'll stand far away. Uh, if you just want to talk, I'm a little lonely. And I was like, yeah, yeah, me too. Like, what's up, Greg? bunch of small talk you know like when's this gonna end is this a conspiracy whatever right so i'm like all right fuck this i'm out of here so i go walking up the stairs right and he goes hey man real quick what uh what are you into sexually <laughs> this is a hundred percent true story and i was like oh greg i was like yeah i'm def definitely into women greg for sure and he's like he goes you've never had sex with a man and i was like no definitely not and he goes you want to try it just like that. <laughs> and I was like, like we were in like a restaurant and like, I was like, I've never had like the wings here. Like, you want to try it? Like he was just super, like, just super down with it. I was like, no, definitely not Greg for sure. And he's like, how about a quick BJ? And he goes, I'm really quick and I'm really good. We can hammer it out in the stairwell. That's what he said to me, in the stairwell. And I was like, yeah, I'm, I'm definitely going to get out of here now, Greg. Right. So I get like halfway up the steps. Greg starts crying. I hear Greg crying behind me and I turn around and I'm like, oh, what the fuck now? And he's like, hey, I'm so sorry. I'm not normally like this, but I've been in quarantine for a while by myself and I'm like really tripped out. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm like really lonely and I'm not this kind of guy. And I was like, dude, I get it. It's all good. Like, just be, be careful with this shit. You can't just be walking up to random people and saying this shit, you know, like you're going to make it hurt, you know? And he's like, I'm, you know, you're right. I'm so sorry. And I was like, all right, later. I get like three more steps and he goes, hey man, you sure? Like just like, <laughs> <laughs> and the Oscar goes to. Yeah, and I was like, hey, time to think about it. Yeah, I was like, you son of a bitch. So jokingly, right? I was like, you got a sister, Greg? Completely joking. All right, I was partially joking, a little bit joking. <laughs> and Greg goes, I wish. And I was like, I don't even want to know. <laughs> oh God. Right. So Wow. I go inside. I, I pull the fucking door closed. Like, make sure the whole shit is locked. You know, I go, I, I come back. So, like, if anybody is, like, getting a little, like, teetering, like, how are we doing mentally? You know, like, <laughs> glad you're not going door to door, uh, you know, offering unsolicited blowjobs to strangers with confidence uh, in, like, well-lit stairwells. You know, like, <laughs> and, a, and a mask. And a, and a mask on. Yeah, Chris, no mask. No mask. Is you this your answer to oh. Johnny's question? What you never thought you'd do in quarantine? <laughs> That's what I was gonna say. He's reading my question. I'm like, what's in second place? <laughs> right. yeah, exactly. Uh, wait, 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 Chris, back up. This guy, what, what, what ethnicity was he? Like Middle Eastern, like 50 years old. 
full You're beard. You're talking more about that story than the blowjob. A Middle uh. Eastern guy named Greg. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh. Yeah. See that every day. Right. Guy with a turban on. Uh, big, right. big. What's your name? Greg. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he, had, he, had the, he had like the blue gloves on. Like that was going to spice it up for me or something, you know, like with the little like wrist guards and shit. So anyway, uh, you know, like hopefully you guys are doing better than Greg. Um, and you know. I just keep waiting for you, Chris, to turn your computer and like, and Greg sitting next to you. Yeah. <laughs> Right. It's like, oh, there he is. In all fairness, in all fairness, this was like day 12 of quarantine. I'm on like 70. I mean, now all bets are off, you know. Right. You're like going back to that place. You guys seen Craig, Greg anywhere? Greg, Greg. Walking down the street Middle screaming. Greg. Anybody screaming seen Middle Eastern Greg? Yeah. Yeah. Um, exactly. Greg. So, a little bit about how my quarantine's going. Anyway, I guess that's my time. Thank you guys so much. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Your very first Zoom show. Congratulations. Um, first of all, for, the, for those, Courtney and Natasha, you both know, Chris Weibel's actual stories are funnier than any comedy I've ever seen actually written. And that is a, <laughs> that is a fact. And that yeah, is, that is you, the things, those situations you find yourself in, I, it just, they're <laughs> mind boggling to me. And, uh, and I don't know, again, if I should even, if I should even <laughs> ask this question, <laughs> is there something in the two months we've been in quarantine that you have done that you didn't expect to do? Uh, I mean, I so I passed my real estate course. Oh, Did you really? Right. Woo. Hey. Woo. I learned how to bake macadamia nut cookies. Didn't think I'd ever learn wow. that. Uh, I've been to like the end of the internet. I will say that I got to like the very end of the internet. You going dark web at this point? Oh or, yeah, yeah. You gonna get that browser? Yeah, so <laughs> whatever it's called. <laughs> dark I have my fourth computer since the start. Duck, duck, go, duck, duck, go. Yeah, that's yeah. it, man. That's it. That's, it's right, that's pretty cool. Interesting ride. So, <laughs> I love, man, very <laughs> funny. Yeah. Thanks. All right, let's keep this. Uh, let's keep this. Chris, party. what's the weird? What's the weirdest thing you've seen on the internet? By the way. Yeah, that's a good question. Yeah. <laughs> like I the weirdest. Fucked up shit. Age range of the of the audience. Calm down, Nay. Just keep it the weirdest. Yeah, he's like, hey, what's the address? <laughs> what's the URL? <laughs> what's the weirdest <laughs> in mine? Nay, I'll send you the link. I'll send you the I'm link. I'm not by myself. I can't look at that stuff. No, I'll send you the link. Let's check it out on your phone. I got. Got to be encrypted. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Download do any favors. As he vapes. <laughs> uh, yeah. All right. Let's keep this party. Just keep it rolling. Um, this next guy coming to the stage, I've known him for years. He's hilarious. He's uh, he took his glasses off for this set, which is impressive. And uh, I like I like <laughs> both. First time I've ever seen him off. off. Let's go glasses off. Uh, he's hilarious. You're gonna love him. One of my favorite comedians. One of my favorite people. Give it up for Patrick Nay, everybody. Patrick Nay. Oh my God! I can't believe it. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. First of all, thank you for having me, everybody. Johnny C. It's great to be somewhere. Um, I, uh, I've noticed you've taken, uh, some of the previous co uh, comedians all over the world. You haven't even taken me to El Segundo. Okay. So it's like, <laughs> that's going to be There's a lot of nice stairwells of right here. talk we're going to have later. <laughs> um, you know, uh, the good news is they say that they're flattening the curve, but not here because that baby ain't going flat anytime soon. I mean, basically, I look like a before picture in a diet ad. It has gotten to be where um, I would say pretty much um, I look like if a box of Twinkies and an IPA had sex <laughs> and had a child, that would be me right now. Um, I just got my test results back, and I don't have gout. So um, everything falls in place. And... Um, it is really, really going good. Um, my kid is starting to call me by my first name, so he's basically treating like treating me like his divorced mom's boyfriend, which is awesome. You know, a little morale booster. Um, he he made his own Ouija board to quote get to the bottom of this shit. So which, through it, I mean, I have it, and I'm like, yeah, that's all I want to do right now is let the devil into our fucking house. No way, okay? That is not happening. Um, 
On the bright side, uh, we did get a dog. We got a little dog and, um, you know, uh, everyone's <laughs> like, what, did, we, it's a rescue. It's a rescue. I'm like, no, oh. it's not a rescue. And then we took it to the vet and the vet's like, this isn't a dog you got on Craigslist. I'm like, it is a dog we got off Craigslist because I don't want to use dog because those dogs have baggage. Like last time I got a rescue. <laughs> I, it turns out it was a Lutheran, which I was like, no way, I can't deal with. So, I mean, <laughs> that's my own shit. Um, Lutheran. I, uh, you know what, it's good. I've, I've, I've connected I've with never heard. <laughs> I've connected with uh, some old friends from college, and we're just going over, like, the olden days and, uh, you know, my fraternity nicknames, which my, um, my fraternity nickname uh, in college was Lady Boner. And um, I wasn't in a fraternity, so that was that was odd for some reason. Um, uh, let's see, my wife and I. Um, Wait a second, college. What was your mascot in college? Uh, the fighting DUIs. Uh, yeah, I went to Illinois State University. It was the fighting DUI. Yeah, so it's like a picture of like a punk getting pulled into a cop car, like but fighting. Um, <laughs> yeah. Oh, you know what? I've um, I've uh, yeah, I've, I've I've been doing the books on tape thing. I think somebody was talking about you know reading and stuff. Uh, I listened to um, the <laughs> Helen Keller's life story, The Miracle Worker, uh, read by Kim Kardashian, which is really kind of <laughs> well, <laughs> goes kind of south. You know, we just you know I wasn't that impressed. Um, what else? Um, oh, my <laughs> wife gave me a haircut. I said, give me the homeless barista. So I think she did pretty good. And, uh, looks nice. Looks nice. You know what? Do you, I mean, you guys are like ladies. You're, I know the guys, so I know they're not healthy ish sort of, but, uh, Johnny C runs like 50 miles a day, which still blows my mind. But, um, I don't know if you guys ever like feel like you got the symptoms, like the symptoms you're like, oh shit. I got you know you get the throat, then the headache, and the um, <laughs> and the four hour erection. I mean, it's really weird because it's just like you know, like I've got this. Oh no! So I'm glad um, your family can see me making a complete ass of myself in the background there. Um, what else? Um, you know what? I don't know, Johnny C. You're not in L.A., but it's like. Everything, all the billboards in LA have become lawyer ads. You know, have you been in an accident? And all the commercials are now, are, they're all like lawyer ads. And this is actually a true thing. There was a guy who was doing a lawyer ad during like, you know, Jeopardy or something. And he had like a haircut that looked like a Labradoodle. And, uh, and he's like, have you been bitten by a dog? <laughs> I'm like, man, they're getting desperate. And I'm gonna, I keep thinking, like, next I'm going to see, like, have you slipped on a banana peel at the post office? I mean, it's like, you in Ohio, that would be different. So, because we're here. All right, good stuff. Get rid of lawyer bit. Okay. Uh, cross that off. Um, uh, I could talk about Trump. And uh, the only thing that I really, that really, um, I've thought about lately with Trump is that, um, you know, somebody asked him, you know, he always pretends that he's religious. And somebody said, like, um, what, 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 what do you like best? What's the Bible? And he's like, I like the Old and New Testament. I like them both. It's like, come on, dude. It's not the fucking Godfather. It's like, pick one. You know what I mean? So, <laughs> well, was, all right. Way to cool him off. Um, but, uh, yeah, I, that, I need to work on I, I need to work yeah. on that Godfather bit, too. So, uh <laughs> what else can I tell you? Um, things are going great here. Um, I'm drinking a lot. Um, I am planning, uh, on, I'm planning on be, uh, getting uh, a drug addicted. I don't. I haven't picked the drug yet, but uh, we'll see what happens. Um, you know, um, the thing is, is like I know a lot of people get depressed during this time, and it, believe me, I've you know I've been there. I've you know. The only time I tried to really hurt myself was when I flew Spirit Airlines. But besides <laughs> that, um, <laughs> no. And the thing is, you know what I, I haven't done forever is I actually, uh, you know, because you can't go to any restaurants or something. So 
me and my kid actually went to McDonald's and the one down in, here in Santa Monica has like a vegan hamburger now. It's called the McVegan, not making it up. And so I'm like, all right, I'll try that, how bad it can be. And it was really good. And it was 100% organic. And the thing is, is like, I, you know, like it turns out organic diarrhea is exactly the same. So, um, <laughs> all right. Um, <laughs> I think that's all I got. That's all I got. You guys are awesome. I appreciate you. I I bow to you. I thank you for your listening. I got you. Uh, By the way, for everybody out listening out there, Patrick Ney is also a sommelier. Yes, you yes. do a comedy wine show. That's so, true. Patrick, ten to twenty dollar range. Uh, what kind of wine would you uh, recommend, or maybe even cheaper? My girlfriend likes small. <laughs> well, you always ask me about cheap wines. And the thing is, like, it depends <laughs> where you're at. That's no, but cheap. I mean, there are really good cheap wines, but it's like not in grocery stores whatsoever. Because really? cheap wines, uh, like, even Trader huh? Joe's. And, yes. Yeah, that's the best of it. But it's like, um, there's some really good, like, cheapos out there, especially like Spanish wines are really great, and really cheap. And they're like, by the way, I, fruity, I just huh? Trader Joe's, and you're in Wisconsin. So your family yeah, thinks there's a guy with, <laughs> right. Well, you're in, probably yeah. thinks there's a guy with pelts, <laughs> trading pelts. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> Throwing them down over the thing for grain. No, this is actually a rest. It's a grocery store in L.A. <laughs> well, listen. If you're in if you're in Milwaukee, if you're in Milwaukee, I'm sure there's a lot of great wine places because it's like a you know it's a real city. You know, as, as, as much as I know. Kenosha. I don't know so much. Here's the thing. I come from well, Chicago. Last, Wisconsin got, is like our, our sports like enemy. Righty. All right. Never mind. That was a terrible joke. Oh my God. <laughs> here's, the, here's what I would tell you to get. Get a nice rosé from France. Get a um, Albarino from Spain. And get a, a, a Grenache from Spain, too. Cheap, good, Grenache. you're done. Go. Yes. It's what good. You've had it. it. Trust Napa me. Valley. No. Napa Valley. Yeah. Uh, Napa Valley, you're paying a premium. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. True. And by the way, Nat, Patrick, Nate, you've sent me pictures, but there is a Cardinelli Vineyard up in Napa Valley, so you can buy mm -hmm. wine with my name on it. Oh, Last dude, time. by the way, I am totally sending that to Ray and saying, hey, guess what you're getting for your next birthday? And that's oh, not, like 200 that's, that's, bucks a piece. That, yeah, that's not inexpensive. That's not inexpensive. That's, no, that's, that's like really, bucks, that's like a high-end Napa yeah. Cabernet. On a list, you're going to pay 500 bucks on a list in a restaurant. Is that right? <laughs> oh, my gosh. Depending where you're I will get my dad a bottle yeah. for his next birthday. Uh, Patrick, Nay, are you yeah. Patrick, Nay, are you at home using a, a can cooler thing? Yes. <laughs> I am drinking a... Um, Uzi? El Segundo, speak of the devil, uh, mm -hmm. with a Mammoth Mountain cozy because it keeps cozy. It cold. Cozy. Uh, yeah. Natasha's yeah. family has just welcomed you aboard. You are now part of <laughs> I don't know if they really like IPA as much in Wisconsin. <laughs> so, so you remember the show Outdoor Wisconsin? I used to watch that. Never <laughs> you know heard. That was in Chicago, wasn't it? <laughs> yes, it was. Thank you, Q. That's, that's a Midwest thing. That's a Minnesota thing. Crazy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's where they like they would take walleye pike and then fry it in like in a seven up base. It was like, what the wait, fuck? that's not like normal going on in Wisconsin. I'm like, wait, that, that, wait, that's how we did it at our fish fries. I'm like, wait. fish fry. That brings oh, yeah. to Ohio. Yeah, I used to love that as a kid. For sure. Uh, Patrick, hey, one of the best you, fish in the world is walleye. Oh, by the way, Patrick Nate, you said you made a birthday joke about uh I forget what exactly it was, but my birthday is June twenty seventh. And I share a birthday with two famous people, Helen Keller. And Chloe Kardashian. All right, right. I remember that. Can right. you change your birthday? It means I share a birthday with a woman born without the normal abilities of function as a human being and Chloe Car or uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's such a good joke. God damn it. Damn it. <laughs> I ruined my own joke. You okay. just chip. Oh. That was like chipping, like you just blew that putt. <laughs> By the way, I've been I've been getting the I've been getting really into books on tape. Scotch tape. Yeah, my books are really old. <laughs> I wrote that during your set. Oh, it's so um, Patrick May. <laughs> oh uh, tell us something you've done. Tell the world something you've done in the last two months in quarantine that you didn't expect that you would ever do. Um, look mm -hmm. at porn. No. Um, uh, <laughs> what have I done that? Um, uh, you know, I'm embarrassed to say. Like, 
Yeah, we okay. My, we have a na we have a neighbor, and I can't say this too loud because they can hear it. But we live next door to these people that the guy's coming and going all the time, and he's going and get like he goes on these fast food runs. So my kid and I have been like following him around like detectives, um, trying to see all the places that he goes, and because he goes out to like fast food like three times a night, it's the most unbelievable thing I've I've seen. And he 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 looks like you know, I mean, basically eats at McDonald's, drinks Mountain Dew, and like. You know, so. And have you figured out anything? What yeah, that's what I've been doing. That's uh, that's how crazy. Sounds to me like an We've open been... liquor. Huh? Yeah. What is he gonna do? He's gonna. <laughs> he's gonna like... die of diabetes in like a week. <laughs> that's weird. All right. Yeah, that's... it's weird. Trust me. There's a whole story behind it, but it's like it just there's nothing to do. And my right. kid is in school on the internet all day, and then it's like he wants to do something zany and kooky, you know. So that's it. it. <laughs> oh, and you know what else you missed? That. <laughs> His kids probably. You know like you missed, uh, dude. Here, what, you know what happened? Um, that I don't know if any of you guys saw this, but the blue waves down on the beach, like there was a red tide. So at night, the waves would literally look electrified. It was the most incredible thing I've ever seen because it only happens like once in like a, a while. And that's we did that a couple times, and that was like, you know. I was not on shrooms, but I, you know, I was, I was wishing. It would have been much cooler if but you it was were. Pretty, pretty rad. I saw, I saw the pictures. Yeah. It looked like it was photoshopped. It was so gorgeous. It was, it's bizarro. Yeah. yeah. So it looked like something out of Avatar. Uh, let's move on. This last. Let's move on. on. <laughs> no, your greatest <laughs> idea if you had all night. I tend to ramble myself, but we want to keep the show about an hour, and we're almost there. Uh, this girl comes to stage. We. Have been to on three military tours, right? Yeah. Two or three. Two military tours. Two so far. Uh, and we she does comedy all over LA. You're gonna love her. She's hilarious. Good friend of mine. Give it up for Courtney Sherman, everybody. Come on, Courtney Sherman. Thank you. Yeah. Um, I'm 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 you know, Natasha and I also run a show and these <laughs> these new shows, they, you know, it it's weird. Let's not act like it. <laughs> um, that's, this is this is my bed um uh i feel like it's kind of weird to not like talk about what's going on in the world right now um but i th I feel like we're lucky i feel like we're really lucky that this happened now just because we, we have social media we have everything we need you know like we're fine here in you know in the states um everyone's staying in touch with uh with social media and uh, you know the phone, uh, FaceTime. Let, let's let's stop FaceTiming. I hate that. Um, that that that's annoying. That's fucking awful. Uh, it, it it just here's the rule. I think there should be rules, and I don't think people follow them. If I don't talk to you normally, face to face, don't FaceTime me. You know what I mean? Like, like we're not missing anything. You know what I mean? Like, like these people. I, I have I have girlfriends that call. They're like, "Hey, hey, what are you doing?" I'm like, "The, the same thing you're doing, Sarah. Same thing. <laughs> Trying not to get fat. Okay. Just, um, true. True. So true. Getting a lot of uh, photos. Photos are good. Um, I like staying in touch with photos, uh, niece, photos of my niece, photos of my nephew, photos, photos of, of strangers' dicks. It's great. Um, <laughs> I have. I've been getting Greg, a lot hello, of Greg. It's, it's the season. <laughs> I thought you had Chris Wavel before. Chris, Chris stop it! <laughs> No, there's a season for it. It gets well, hot. You're a stranger all of a sudden. <laughs> <laughs> there's, I guess there's a season for it. It gets hot. Guys get confused about what they're packing. It's weird. Um, I I got a message the other day. I actually showed my mom this. So this this is this is a, an absolute true one. I got a picture. Um, well, first it, it was a message from from this little guy, little guy. His name was Diego Cortez, this little Jewish guy. Um, he sends me a message and he's like, "Hey, Courtney, hope you're holding up all right. Wanted you to have this." And then underneath this message is just a it's a photo of him just 
just standing there with his fucking his just his smash bird. Can you guys do? Are you guys getting that full? Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And you guys, I shit you not, it was the most disgusting room I had ever seen. It was f- it was fucking chaos. Okay, there was there was fucking trash everywhere. There was there were two liter bottles of soda, two liters. Like who are you a fucking animal? And then there's coat hangers. There's wire coat hangers. Who who's using wire coat hangers anymore? Oh, you, you guys are using those in Wisconsin? <laughs> the, the mattress, you guys, the mattress, it blew my mind. It was, it was tan with no bed sheet. No, just no fucking fitted sheet. Who's sleeping on a mattress with no, with no fitted sheet? I, oh, I, this really sounds like Chris Vival. Yes. <laughs> no. <laughs> it does sound like me. I've done some detective work. Chris Vival about 23 minutes ago. I was so <laughs> pissed. I was like, who, who sends a photo like that? Right? And because and now I'm mad because this is the kind of shit that keeps me up at night. Like now I'm going to be up all who night. downloads and crops a photo like that, Courtney? I'm going to be wondering what happened to Diego's sheet? You know, like. <laughs> I was so mad. I was so mad. Normally, like I'd let it go, you know, like, it's your dick. I couldn't let it go. I I had to message him. I messaged him back. I was like, hey, hey, Diego, thank you, thank you so much. Um, but I'm a little concerned. And he messages me back right away. He was like, huh? I was like, yeah, yeah. I'm I'm a little concerned. I feel like we need a second pair of eyes on this. So I go I go on Instagram. I find him. I find his mom, and then I send it to her. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh. yeah, all of you, all, oh. all three, four of you, men, yeah. Oh. It's a new rule, oh. new rule, Facebook. Hi, it's a new rule. Send me your dick, I'm sending it to your mom, okay? Oh my God. <laughs> he created it, hopefully she hasn't seen it in a while. <laughs> <laughs> but, the, but the best part, the best part about this Miss Cortez responds. She, <laughs> she responds to me. I felt so bad. She messaged me back. She's like, Miss Courtney. And of course, I can't hear her, but that's just what I imagine her Jewish accent sounded like. Yeah. She's like, Miss Courtney, I am so embarrassed. And I was like, you, you, you should be. You should be because your, your son is gross. You have a gross son. And she was like, no, I had no idea his room was so messy. <laughs> Here's a pick. Um, this is Courtney who just made her bed 14 minutes ago, by the way. <laughs> I did. I made it. I was like, oh, God. yeah. yeah. Um, still, still in the are you sure he's not under those? Yeah. <laughs> well, <I'm there. laughs> actually, this is actually my boyfriend's bed. Um, okay. I, uh, I did. I, I, I am just got into a new relationship um two weeks before the quarantine just perfect and time you won. congratulations yeah. Yeah. thank you i feel like a little girl i'm like yeah thank you yes. um, <laughs> no it's 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 going good there's there's um you know like a lot of like the new like relationship kind of worries or whatnot um before the quarantine started he it was really cute he said he wanted to go uh get tested and i was like oh like no one's ever asked me to do that. <laughs> um, I had like, I had mixed feelings about it. Like, like one part of me was like, oh, that's really cute. But the other part was like, that kind of takes the surprise out of it. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> right, like chlamydia, you know? Um, we got, we got tested though. Um, yeah, I, I was nervous about starting. Johnny, you are you guys quarantined together? Two months. Are you guys quarantined? Yep. Yeah, you're quarantined. Yeah. Yep. Um, I was nervous, and and your 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 relationship's new too. I was just wor- like worried about like the firsts. There's a lot of embarrassing firsts that happen, you know, when you first get together with somebody. Oh, you better believe it. What's that? You better believe it. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, what? Like, what if I do? You know, like, like what if I like. Like fart in my sleep, or like 
<laughs> you know, like he sees me like clipping my toenails with my mouth or, you know what I mean? Um, <laughs> with your mouth, okay. <laughs> yeah. the the <laughs> He's gonna be excited about that. But then, no, then I thought about it and I was like, come on, like we're, we're quarantined together. Like, where's he gonna go, the kitchen? <laughs> like, he's fucking stuck, right? <laughs> That's all. That's all I got. I hear the kitchen is beautiful. <laughs> uh, does he have a name, a first name? Uh, he does. Brad. Bradley. 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 Oh, Bradley. How soap opera does that sound? Wow. It's Bradley. I, I, let me ask you this. You met two weeks before quarantine. Uh -huh. Where'd you guys meet? Are you allowed to say? Are you at? Yeah, uh, we met on Instagram. Oh, we're gonna be on Was he a fan? Uh, no, no, actually, well, he saw me on a dating site and then messaged me immediately oh. on Instagram. Nice. That's how we met. Yeah. Bradley. Well, we're very happy for you, Courtney. Congratulations. That's awesome. And you have a lot of outlets in your place. Very impressed with the outlets. <laughs> Modern. He's happy. Modern. <laughs> Chris, as a realtor, would you say that is a good move? If you guys got a Betamax, like, on, you know, from old school? Video, you bring it over to Courtney, she can play it for you. Um, <laughs> Data Max reference, nice. Yeah, yeah. That was I terrible. got it. I know. That's, that's, good. that's not good yeah. for me to know that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so uh, it's been awesome, Courtney. But we two months now. You you have a new boyfriend, so. But what is the one thing you've done in the last two months in quarantine that you never thought you'd do? An unexpected. <laughs> um. I never thought I'd uh, be living back in in my childhood bedroom. Oh, <laughs> yeah! I just did that for like two weeks. I was at my parents' house, and it same mattress, same same mattress from when I was <laughs> paper. So uh, when you go in there, does it do memories come flooding back? Do you? Yeah, that's where I lost my virginity. <laughs> wow. And keep going. Yeah. He hasn't been in that room since she was 12 years old. Okay, guys. <laughs> no, it's, it's super weird. I feel like a little girl. I was like sitting there the first day like, Mom, what's for dinner? <laughs> <laughs> so when you were living there, you sat there like this, Mom, what's for dinner? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you guys in the household? Okay. Just want to make sure. You, you know what? Every time I've stayed at, like, I've gone back to my old house, it's like I always remember uh, at the, the, the times where my parents was like, whose is this? You know, like when they find the, the weed bowl, you know, and you're like, you're like, who's this? Whose is this? And then you always blame it on the one weird kid and like, oh, that's Bill's. Uh, he, I'm holding it for him because he's, you know, his parents were going to kill each other. But uh, yes. So you had a rough child. Is that what you're saying, Pat? <laughs> uh, I was the youngest the of seven. It was like the Brady heard. Bunch meets Fight Club. You know that. <laughs> but I was in a family that, like, my mom smoked just to, when she was pregnant just to see what would happen. Hello. God. All right. Never mind. Crazy. Here, here's a true story. So my dad, mom, my dad's been through a lot of divorces and stuff. We all know that. Uh, my dad's last marriage. My stepmother, my fourth stepmother, I wasn't super close with her. No big deal. I was a little bit older. I moved out. I didn't go back to the house very often. I was, I was living in LA. They were like two hours away. And this is years ago, obviously. And my dad and mom had moved back to Ohio. My, my, my dad and my stepmom had moved back to Ohio for business purposes, whatever. And my dad still had his house out here, which I never went to. But I had a, I had a um, key to get in the house if I needed to ever for emergencies. And I was back in the area for doing something. And I just you know, I go, I, I didn't even tell my dad. I said, I'm just gonna spend the night at the house. I let myself in. Now keep in mind, I've always been nervous to go in my parents' bedroom. It was always off limits to me. You know, you just go in your, you don't, I don't know what's in going on there, but I just never went in my dad's bed. I'm staying in this house, it's it's real late at night. This is an absolute true story. It's not meant to be funny. This is not a Chris Weibel story. It's not sounding crazy. scary though. It's sounding absolute, scary. This absolutely happened. So it's a two-story house. So I go in, I let myself in. I'm just going to crash there for the night and get up and leave. It's super dark. It's just up on this hill, way and away from everything. There was no street lights, And I'm like, I'm just sitting in the little living room. I'm going to crash on the couch. I'm not even going to crash in one of the bedrooms upstairs. I don't even want to go upstairs. But I needed, a, I needed toothpaste. I didn't have toothpaste. So I go upstairs. 
my parents' room. And I open the door and I never go in their room. But the big bed to the left and to the right is the mirror, the double mirror, hers and hers kind of thing uh, for the bathroom, you know, and the shower to the left. I go in, I'm just facing, trying to pick, paint a picture of you guys. I am, I print on the little light by the sink and I'm looking for the toothpaste. And I this swear to God, this happened. I looked in the mirror and I see all of a sudden two eyeballs behind me in the darkness. I'm not making this up. I turn on and go, ah! and this little dude is standing there in the darkness. And I go, what? And he only speaks Spanish. And I was like, he's on the old again. My stepmother, she was from Yuc near Yucatan, Merida, Mer Mexico. It was her brother who was up just <laughs> staying there. I had no idea she even had a brother. I had no idea what was going on. And and I go, what? I, somehow we just go, no, I'm going downstairs. And he went back. He was sleeping on the floor in their, in their master bedroom rather than just sleeping somewhere else. <laughs> what I'm trying to say is if shit goes down, ladies, gentlemen, you know how I'm going to handle it? Like this. <laughs> 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 I learned my I yellow at him, build the wall. <laughs> Seriously, though, isn't it the creepiest thing to see eyeballs in the <laughs> that actually happened to me? True story. Oh my god, I Chris, you Chris think Weibel, gonna murder top you. That, top that, Chris Weibel. Well, wait till I leave the house tomorrow, then we'll see what happens. <laughs> hey, you know what? Let's put a wrap on this, right? We said we we're gonna do a one hour show. I like really, really tight shows. If you guys, you guys have all done like my sand trap show. This is the first online sand trap show. It's usually one hour. We started at 8.02. It's 11.58 right now, guys. We've done okay. almost a one hour exact show. I'd like a nice big round of applause for my comedians, Sasha, Chris, Courtney. And our, how about our buddy Q? Q loves you. Oh, yeah. Q. 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 All you can eat is this guy's it's blown up. Stuff. He's got all kinds of stuff going on. We're going to be doing a lot of work together. Patrick Nay's doing shows with him, so you guys will get on those shows, too. Awesome. I think we're yes. done, everybody, right? Love you, guys. Sure, guys. Hugh, you have anything you want to add? So we had a blast. We do, and we hello do, to Wisconsin. We do, we do Throwdown <laughs> Thursdays. We have a Throwdown Thursdays comedy night that we do every Thursday night on here, 8 p.m. Uh, Pacific time. And also we have a show on Monday called Mindful Mondays that Patrick and I do at 7 p.m. on here. We have our buddy Lou Joffe this weekend or this Monday, professor of uh, entrepreneurship over at LMU. We're going to talk a little business with COVID and how business is moving down the line. So we get a little more serious with a little laughter. So thank you very much. Yeah, you comics, hit them up, get them up, get on the throw down Thursday. Uh, Natasha, your, your, your family in the background was the greatest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> yeah, that was cool. It was like uh, someone in the back. Yeah. <laughs> Girl, I, was it your dad and your uncle's like, every now and then I see her uncle do this. Every now and then I see her uncle do this. What the, what the, what the. <laughs> wow. My, that's like a, that's like a headshot. Courtney. Courtney, we met in quarantine too. Ah, Yay. Her and, her and my uncle. Yes. Okay, I thought, oh, you, wow. I thought you and your niece. Oh, I was like, oh my God, that's so crazy. Awesome. That's awesome. Congratulations. God bless. Good night, everybody. Good night, Good night you guys. Good night. Nice meeting you all. See you later. Be well out there. Be safe. Happy Saturday. Be safe. Later. Bye. Bye.